To get started with constraints, you need to understand the concept of coincidence or a coincident constraint. Now you've drawn things in AutoCAD that are coincident all the time. An example would be the, the corner of these two lines, where the, the two lines share a common endpoint. That is, they neatly intersect. Uh, so everything is correctly drawn. That would be a coincident point between these two entities. But what we can see here is by doing a quick grip edit and drag is we see that there's no connectivity between these entities whatsoever. And to get around that problem, we need a coincident constraint. So what I'll do is simply come here, pick a coincident constraint, and generate a coincident point here. Now I'm gonna to need to do the same thing over here. So I'll just go ahead and hit my spacebar to repeat the last command and generate another coincident constraint here. Now let's try our grip editing test and see what happens. So same object, same gripping point, same move type instruction. This time we see that this object has been constrained to this line. And so a stretching operation is implied in order for this point to still remain coincident. That's what has to happen. So let's go ahead and back up. I'll undo that stretch operation, but you see that my coincident constraints are still here. If I hover over them, I'll see a little glyph. Now, let's think about this a little bit more. What would happen if we performed a coincident constraint between the end of this line and the midpoint of this one? So you can see here where the coincident constraint was formed. What that would mean is that no matter what else happens to this top horizontal line, its midpoint would have to stay here. So now if we grip edited this object selected the same gripping point and performed the stretch operation out to the right, just as we did before, you can see what starts to happen. So that line comes with it, but it doesn't remain vertical. And that's because we never told it to remain vertical. So that's a hint that one of the next things we'll start to look at is the concept of linearly constraining things for properties like perpendicularity, parallel control, we can fix things to be horizontal or vertical. We'll look at that in the next segment. But the first challenge for us is to make sure that all of our points that need to be coincident actually are. So you'll be spending a lot of time going around your model, generating coincident constraints until everything checks out. In order to just see how everything behaves, you simply perform grip edit tests like we did here and see how the geometry is acting. So go ahead and create yourself a, a test case like this and play around with the coincident constraint until you understand it, and then we'll move on.